G'day troops, how are we today? Mr. B here from the Mind Master. A lovely sunny day outside and corona free. Um, I hope everybody's surviving well and not getting caught up in the panic, the panic that is at the moment. And if you do have children that you're at home with and you're wondering what to do, uh, I know that around there must be at least half of um, the kids in my boys' classes that are staying at home. Uh, and that's without an enforced lockdown. So we do need to have some things for the children's to do, right? My desk is a mess. I'm glad you can't see it. Uh, so we're going to look at a little activity today that not only um, is a bit of fun, <laughs> but it also helps exercise um, the parts of the brain to do with that short term or that working memory. All right, and it's called working memory tic-tac-toe. And it's a really, really good one. We've done this, uh, I've, I've played this version for many years, ever since learning about the brain. And I found when I was at schools that, that this activity, actually the, the children that seem to struggle with numbers play this game really well. And they usually were, um, winning a lot of the time, which is great because we need that boost, don't we? Uh, and I've lost my pen. No, I haven't. Okay, so working memory tic-tac-toe, you do need two people to play it. No, you actually, actually you need three. You need someone to mark and then you need two players. Um, so what you want to do is uh, grab a pattern of numbers. So if your child is struggling with two times table, you would use two, four, six, eight. 5, 5, 10, 15, 20. So you want those patterns in numbers. All right, so just for an example, we'll go to start off, and a really good thing to do is just start off with one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, now there's two players, remember. And let's say, here's little Johnny. Then here's Mary. Oh, look at Mary's head. Lovely, isn't it? Hey, so there's Johnny and Mary, and we're going to play the game. Now, I'm going to be the marker, so I'm probably the adult. <laughs> some, would, some would suggest not. Okay, what colour can I choose? This one. Now, little Johnny's going to be crosses and Mary's going to be naught. So the, the, the big thing with this game is actually not to look at the numbers. So before we start, there's our number patterns. All right, Johnny and Mary get to look at the board and they get to look at the patterns in the numbers and get a visual of what that looks like. Then give them five seconds to do that, then get them to turn around. We're turning around and they can't see they can't see the board anymore, so they can't see the number. So what they're doing is they're having to um, access their visual memory to see those patterns in numbers, all right? So then Johnny has to, in his mind, picture where he's going to put the cross. So Johnny says number one. So as the adult, I put a cross there. Now, Mary's actually visualizing where Johnny put his cross, and now she has to, try and counteract that. So she's going, she's picturing, how can I get three in a row? And she says, I'm gonna put one in the middle. Favorite place, the middle, right? And so this continues. They don't look at the board, they're looking straight ahead, and they're visualizing, they're picturing, they're accessing their visual memory, and getting these patterns in numbers. Alrighty? And Johnny goes there, oh yes. Well done, Johnny, that's a really good move. And we're encouraging and Mary's decided, no, no, I can see that, so I'm gonna go for four. So they're calling out the numbers each time. And Johnny's, Johnny's struggling now because we're getting more and more information that we have to remember and hold. Okay, so then he's put a cross down here, and then Mary's remembered that she had four and five, so she picks number six. This is all without looking at the board, and it's re you're really going to be surprised, I'd imagine, most people are, going to be surprised 
when you get to the end and your children can actually do this usually a lot better than adults can. Sorry, some of the time, most of the time. So you don't just choose one, two, three, four, five. Maybe it's four times tables, maybe it's five times, maybe it's seven times tables, depending on the ages of the children. Get them to do with this with different patterns in numbers and away we go. So you could do five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, you get the picture. Five, 40, you should have picked a pen that was working. 45. Okay, so, and that it really works well to cement these patterns. All right, if they're having trouble with certain times tables, use those, play that game over and over again. And not only will you be stimulating the pathways around memory, but you'll be cementing some of those key uh, number patterns, which we need, which we need. So there's a little lockdown learning exercise. If you are at all interested in joining our lockdown learning daily sessions, we're going to be starting very soon. Just message me and I'll send you the links and all the things to, to join up and join the group and join the fun. Uh, it's not just going to be learning academically. There's going to be some life skills. There's going to be some interaction, connection, uh, lots and lots of different activities we're going to do. If you need some assistance and you want some time back, it might be the best way to go, especially if you're working from home and you've got the mums, mum, mum, dad, dad, uh, can you play with me? So we'll, we'll have some, some uh, activities and concepts and ideas for the kids to work on with me and without me. Uh, yeah, so there you go. Working memory tic-tac-toe, why don't you just give it a go? All right, over and out. Stay safe, everybody. Bye-bye.